Visco. Hi everyone, welcome to Visco channel. Today I am going to show on how to configure Captive Portal with voucher or account. So first of all, enter one of the rigid project and under the workspace advanced, scroll down until we find the Captive Portal option. Under the Captive Portal, we can create one policy by naming it as Guest Portal. So for the network for the guest portal, we can choose the guest Wi-Fi. For the guest Wi-Fi, which is the VLAN ID60 that I have created just now. So under the portal patch, I have created one guest portal just now, which I name it as guest portal. And for the login options, we can choose account and voucher. For the post login URL for the guest portal, by default it will be provided by region network URL. Or we can also choose other URL such as Google. Under the preview bar, we can see the main page for the portal authentication login page. Besides that, we can also outload our own logo image, background, and also Insert the welcome message, marketing message, term and conditions, and last but not least, copyright. So click on save. So we will see the guest portal page that we have created just now. After that, add the policy. So we have successfully created one of the guest portal policy in the Captive portal. So next, in order for the user to Enter the Captive Portal with voucher or account. We have to go to the user management part to create the account or voucher for the user to log in. So for example, I will create for the voucher authentication part. First of all, we have to create the one of the user group. So I create one user group for voucher authentication. So voucher group the concurrent device we can choose either unlimited or until night and we can also select the period data quota allot speed and download speed and also the price after that click on save so after we have created the voucher group then go to the user part and add voucher we can select the number of vouchers that we want to provide access for guests to enter the guest Wi-Fi. So let us put either one of the number of vouchers. So I put nine vouchers and I by default I select the voucher code type as alpha numeric 0 to 9 A to Z and the voucher length is 6. And for the user group, I select the voucher group. Other than that, we can also add the user information. After that, click on save. So, the app will automatically create 9 vouchers for the guests to connect to the guest Wi-Fi. So, let us connect to the guest Wi-Fi with the voucher. So after we have connected to the guest Wi-Fi, it will it will directly bring us to the authentication patch. So let us input one of the voucher to A E U I Z to A E U I Z. So after we input the voucher, the correct voucher, this means that we have successfully connected to the guest Wi-Fi with the voucher authentication. So under the rigid project at the user bar, we are also able to see that which voucher has been used by the guest. As we can see here for the first voucher, the status is in use. 
So that's all for the part on how to configure the Gative folder with voucher or account authentication using Rigid Cloud App. Thanks for watching. Visco.